Well, the last episode, or two episodes, were basically an hour and 20 minutes, so I had to cut them in half each. This is sort of a bleed into next week, but whatever. That's fine. I'm going to try and go for like 40 minutes or 50 minutes, depending on how it goes. See how it goes. When I last left off, I was here. And basically, what I want to do for this episode is finish off my down house and start looking into other stuff. So I can do other stuff. Well, I can make myself a cobblestone floor if I want to. A bit more sandstone wall. Now you notice by the way that my like, you know, crafting is like, you know, going up. My, not crafting, my, my weight. As you get more strength, you're basically getting more like, you know, ability to basically do stuff. Which is nice. Alright, I think what we're going to do right now is going to drop all these stones here. I'm going to go up over to start building my uh, stuff a little bit. Whoa, where'd this guy come from? You hit a trap or spire or free damage from a stone sphere. Piercing damage is ineffective. I'm apparently missing him constantly. That's a bit of an issue. I don't have a whole lot of... Uh, you know, endurance to do one, so... Not like I want to be fighting. So there's Trapdoor Spires in this game, that's interesting. So there's lay and wait for you. Close that. Build that there. Hello. Of course, I'm vulnerable to this guy's attack. I can swamp this guy is. My tire sure is taking a beating, and now we got a sand cat there. Uh, repair. There we go. For my shirt a little bit. That boggling thing annoying because you're like, you know, it's there. Ah, uh, let's see here. You know what? I guess I'm gonna hold off on mining for a little bit while I get my endurance back. Where let's rush right here. Oh, so this guy came in and said hi. So this trap is fire. It appears to be ab aberrant and enormously strong. So not only is the trap is fire strong, it's um ab um apparently strong. Cause you know it wasn't strong enough. Blood, blood, blood. Good. I like blood. I like the fur I get from his, you know, his hide, too. Yeah, let's go this way. Some point I might want to mine over here. In fact, I might just do it right now. There's some talk there if I want at some point. Da 
There's critters in the darkness. And there's this stuff right here, of course, I've left off, but whatever. We'll add it in there for now. Sandcats leave me alone, that's nice. It's getting dark, and I have yet to build my abode. That's a bit of an issue, because you know there's stuff to worry about. Alright, this guy's not dying. Let's see what he's weak against. So, blood damage is ineffective. I forgot to, uh... Go offline, so let's do that. So blood damage is ineffective against these guys. Uh, I feel that it caused any damage to the Vine Whip. Eventually, I'll bear weapons to fight these guys, but right now I just don't have good weapons to fight anything. Hopefully he gets caught, caught up in terrain. There's that claw worm for me for. Good, it can't swim. As well. I'm getting thirsty, because, you know, that's something to worry about. It's taking a beating, apparently. A great wolf, why not? That's a shark, I don't want to go messing with a shark. As you can probably guess, the shark is probably going to be the most vicious thing to fight. <clears throat> Very few things are probably more vicious than a shark in this game. I need to make myself some kindling and stuff like that. Twigs. Bark. There's some kindling. Alright. There we go. Everything I need to basically make a fire. Drop our water here. And we'll start fire. There we go. Lip, uh, stone water still. I can cook some stuff on it. So I might want to make some pemmican at this point. Now let's do that. And let's see here, I could make a stone anvil. I'll eventually need one of these, so... Why not, we'll try and make one. I destroyed my shale from that, but whatever, that's fine. There we go, stone anvil. Can just place that right there. Eventually I'll have to build a furnace, but we'll get to that eventually when I get to it. Close that door. 
Well, I'll drop some more of this stuff in here. How much food have I got? I've only got some of this pemmican right here, apparently. I'm actually having food issues at this point. No, wait, I'm not having food issues. I'm fine. Never mind. I can eat that. And that. I will have to find more food, though. That is, that is becoming an issue. But whatever, it's an issue that, you know, it's not too bad to worry about. I need one, two, three, four more, you know, sandstone walls. Pick all this all up. Oh, we made ourselves an entrance right there. So, let's see if I can do this. Yep, I can actually close down an entrance like that if I want to. So, I have to worry about, like, you know, the gravel. Basically doing stuff. So, if I need to close off an entrance, I can easily do it. Okay, let's fight this guy. Apparently both my weapons are effective. And this guy's not all that strong, apparently. Good to know. So, we got ourselves some worm meat from that. There we go. There's something to eat. that there. Three more walls to make. My bloody campfire, but whatever. My stone axe is in need repair. Look at all this stuff, all these repair basically. There we go. And I guess it makes more grindstones. There we go, some grindstones. You know, I'm tempted to eat this right now to see what, what it does for me. Okay, so I get five um, hunger restore from that, so stand some health, lost one first. Sapping's coming up over there, that's nice. We got a lot of stuff in there. Building it all up, you know? We'll just get our water here. Uh, I can actually drink it right now because I got the room for it, so why not? Get our water. Tree bark. Twigs. More twigs. Kindling. Shavings. That stuff. Pour that. Set on fire. 
Been getting better at fire making, almost up to 3%. There we go, make that. There we go, working myself in exhaustion, but whatever. I have managed to get my house complete. That's all I really want to do. I wonder if I can make beds in this game. Yeah, it hurt doing that, but whatever, it's worth it because everything's closed. Uh, that door looks odd. There we go. Everything is closed. Everything is nice and sturdy. Everything looks as it should. So yes, this is my uh, humble abode. Well, I guess you only have to leave for a bed. You can't actually make an actual bed. Oh well. But yes, basically the nice thing about this like little humble abode is that if there's like zombies and stuff like that, I don't have to worry about them attacking me because I'm basically like, you know, protected in here. Nothing can get to me. Which is nice. Okay, what do I need for a furnace? I need to have rocks, lots and lots of rocks. There we go, I can make myself a furnace. Should really not be working myself in exhaustion, so let's rest up a little bit. Let's build our furnace. Looks like my water. Uh, this is a little bit full, isn't it? So let's just not worry about that. Let's just get that going. I'm actually going to make a sundial right here. So, it's currently in a third quarter of the night. Yes, yeah, so I have a sundial to tell me what, what time it is. We're now off to 20%, um, 20,000 Melagony, so... You know, things are going along as they go along. I got a good score, but whatever. Score is, you know, sort of like, you know... It's hard to tell, like, when it's, like, good to have good score or bad score and stuff like that in this game. Right now I'm not doing terrible score, but eh, it could be better. I'm getting lots and lots of stuff spawning now, basically, because I've built like all this stuff. I got like this entire boat here made. Stuff is going on. Whoops, I didn't use a proper tool for that. Oh well. Let's eat that up. Plant these if possible. There we go. <clears throat> Let's do that. Flowerm, where'd you come from? Hey, my strength increased because I'm being attacked. Good, we killed it. Oh, this isn't, isn't dead yet. 
There we go, we killed it. How to actually kill that thing for yet. Alright, well, my stuff is getting damaged here a little bit. That's been an issue. Repair that. Repair that. Alright, well, let's see here. Kindling. Do that. I could make strip bark, but I really want to save my bark for other stuff at this point, I think. Cork. A small cork plug crafted from rubbery tree bark. It can be used to contain liquids in bottles and other containers. That might be useful. Who knows when that might be useful. Alright, now, basically something I'm thinking about doing at this point. I want to basically make use of, like, you know, this stuff here to basically do some stuff. So, before I think about it, let's go in here. Um, I got this animal fat from, like, you know, a long, long time ago. It's been degrading over time. You can actually do stuff with animal fat. Basically, um, it's used in, like, you know, eating, stoking fires, and stuff like that. It's a fuel item. You can also use it for torches, though, I think. Not sure how to use it, but you can use this for torches, I think. Oh, I can make woolen fabric, that's cool. Well, whatever, I'm gonna keep this around for, like, you know, doing stuff with. And we're just going to drop this stuff in here. Don't know how I did that, but apparently I can rename your items. That's interesting. Do that. Do this stuff a little bit. Essentially, what I'm thinking about doing at this point, I want to be able to basically find some iron so I can make some, like, you know, iron gear. Because that's something I actually do in this game. And I wouldn't mind basically making use of a stone kiln to basically do some pottery stuff like that, too. That's another thing I could do. You know, let's, let's try and do the pottery first, because that's a lot easier to do. Basically, over here at the sand, you can, like, you know, dig up stuff, I think. You can, like, dig of hands and stuff like that. Can I make a shovel, actually? Yeah, I can make a shovel. A stone shovel requires a pole, string, a sharpened rock. Alright, so that's easy enough to make. Let's just, uh, dismantle this, make a shovel. Okay, that's my shovel. A digging tool made of stone used to collect a different material to the ground or to root water. Apparently it's a slashing attack, that's interesting. I can use that to beat up people. Crappy weapons are still weapons. And we'll make some string. Yeah, we can make some tannin. Make some string. I can make some cooked worm meat if I want to. Water and tree bark. Why not? We'll make that. That's getting destroyed. That's fine. That happens. What was I doing? Right. So, I'm going to basically equip this to my right hand. 
And what I can basically do, I can start digging. So, you can get, like, sand and stuff from, like, you know, um, you know, sand if you dig it. And if you dig the sand long enough, you'll basically get clay underneath. So there's, like, some, like, you know, piles of sand, some clay. So I can make my, myself like, you know, stuff like this, like raw clay jugs and like, you know, a, cl a raw cl clay brick. And then you can fire it up in a kiln. But really what I'm going to be doing, I want to be making claw jugs because those can be used for stuff. Essentially I get that ready couple of those and I can like use them to basically make some like you know stuff all right I need to get some wood that comes from you so fire making go and then I can make myself What do I need for this? Formed. Oh, yeah, cork. Right, I need to make my corks. The corks basically require a sharp iron and tree bark. Like this nice little cork right there I made. There we go. So now I'm gonna make myself clay jugs. And the thing about these clay jugs is that they can be used to gather water. They're a lot lighter than the, um... Well, I guess they aren't, they aren't lighter, but... Oh, they are lighter. Well, they can be lighter. The thing is that they can be used to, like, you know, get, like, water for myself. And that'll basically save me from using water on, like, the, like, you know... These, like, water skins. Basically, they're nice little things to get. Give myself lots of extra water, basically. Now, I can do other stuff, by the way, with, like, the, um, the stuff I got here. Not sure which, uh, this is for. Well, I'll get that going. Uh, my dexterity, my metabolism slowed, and my strength increased. Nice. You have earned a milestone crafter, crafted 250 items. Awesome. I'm getting better. Better! All right, let's see here. Now, claw bricks, I bet, bet you can use to basically make stuff, so. Clay. I bet there's probably more that I don't know, but whatever. There's stuff you can use with clay with, basically, if you need to. Uh, I can do that. You find some sand. Finding sand, um, lets you do stuff with it. I don't know exactly what you can do with it, but you can do stuff with this. Yeah, let's just start dro dropping anything in here I don't need at the moment, so. I'll try and read up a little bit about, like, crafting with kilns, but. We're getting into territory where I really have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing specifically with it, so bear with me while I basically, you know, try and mull my way through all this stuff. Let me just collect water. You know, I can probably take a water 
or chance by fire with that thing, so. Take this pull, put it to my right hand. Pour the water, and then we'll just uh, start a fire. There we go. That's how you start a fire. Now. We'll extinguish that for now. I'm discovering lots and lots of stuff I can do. That's nice, at least. So water's getting made of the water. Assume a mixture of plants and roots used to heal poison and illnesses. That's something I may want to make. If I can't figure out how to, how, how to do it. But basically, I think these tree roots are what I need for like, you know, medicinal purposes type thing, so... I take these... And I got myself uh, a water skin medicinal water. So, there we go, now I got myself some medical water. That's fine. Alright, um... Solar. There's something called like a solar kiln or stuff like that you can make. Not exactly sure how, I'll have to figure out how to do it, but it's something you can do. I guess we'll go mine at this point. I'm destroying this wooden pole because why not? Bye bye, wooden pole. I did not mean to do that, but okay. Now, here's the question how goes a shovel for mining? Tools not um, is in use do not appear to be effective against uh, for guiding a resource, so that's good to know. It's not very effective. Hey, we got our talc. Awesome. Alright, that's done. Is there anything in here I want to make with my stuff? Talc and powder is not really something I need to worry about. Make some smooth rocks. There we go, made some smooth rocks. That went out. So that basically going out like that. It's almost extinguished, it's fine. Um Put that right there. Purpose for doing this is to transfer the fire again. Like so. That's struggling, that's extinguished, that's fine. That's done. Let's put that right there. Use the open container. So I got some coal, some stones, sharp rock will keep, I guess. Uh, here's a question. Where am I going to store my talc and stuff? 
guess in here. Coal and like talc would be useful for like um, smithing when I get around to it. That's why I'm basically collecting it. You know what I see right now. I should probably move that, that campfire at some point, just to move it like over a spot, so I can like run around my stuff here if I need to. Cause that's like right where I can't like walk by it, so it's in a bad spot. Let's just dig some clay, I guess. Put that here. Huh, I dug up the clay. Well, dug up some clay. Now let's collect the water here. Then we'll drop this stuff in. I'm just gonna drink this for now. And the reason I basically transferred the fire is just so I could do that. I don't have any fuel apparently. Okay, well, need to get some fuel. Extinguish that for now. Can I use leaves to, to soak a fire? Because they're not really useful for that much else. So, yeah, that's like a stoke I am. So, okay. Fuel item, okay, so. Ah, I used the ammo fat, I think, for make my fuel. That's what I basically did. Alright, that makes sense. There we go. There we go. Now let's, uh, you know, let's don't still thing going again. All right, let's just put back on my axe. And... Can I extinguish the fire? It's not like you can like throw stuff on the fire to put it out, right? So... Ah, oh, whatever. It'll extinguish by itself in a moment. It's fine. Oh, more clay. So this counts as mining what I'm doing right now, by the way. And I just made myself an entrance right there. That's fine. Let's just repair this with a uh, grindstone. Yeah, fire went out. Do, 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 do. Okay, I went a little bit overboard on the uh, sand there, but whatever. Lay down a couple. Put that on there, put this in here. Put 
Put that in there. And we're just gonna collect this. Build that there now. That's almost extinguished, it's great. Dig up a little bit more sand over here. My strength increase, great. There's more clay. Stone shelves need to repair again, but that's fine. Do 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 do. Lots lots of clay to do stuff with. I'm gonna space my chest here though. You know, I might refine some of the sand so it takes up less room. Oh, I'm using more and pestle for this. Okay. Interesting. Hey, got some nice refined sand there. You know, I should probably make myself a new motor and pestle, because this is really, you know, just biting at this point. I need two smooth rocks. Okay, those are the wrong type of rocks. Uh, let's take this one, that one. There we go, a new motor and pestle to basically make use of. It's gonna be, um... Well, that's basically done right there, that. So we're just gonna... There we go, done. That's almost done, that thing, but whatever, it's not yet done. Let's see here. Let's see if this wormy, I guess. And I don't know, let's just mine some sandstone or something. Nope, oh, it's done. Collect the water. So there we go. I got some uh, lovely water to make use of. Or not. Apparently, I still. Need some water, but whatever. I'm getting there. All I can really say, I'm getting there. Okay, that's not a fuel source, so... Kill it! There we go, let's do that. I'm bleeding to death, because why not? That would go away, but I'm going to suture it up, because... Bleeding is bad. 
You know what? Let's just go. Chop down a tree a little bit. And then I'll go over here and we'll basically start another fire after I pour this. There we go, that's done. And then I can do some more stuff in here. Let's do that. Make some scenery if I want to. Or some pemmican. Make some pemmican, why not? And... Eh, let's drop the rest of the stuff in the, the chest. I have to say, I'm getting lots and lots of animal claws. I thought they'd be a less plentiful item, but they're actually pretty plentiful if you kill stuff. <clears throat> Watch that be like my famous, like, you know, way of dying. I kill everything and then a the bear pops out or something. Which could happen. Alright, you know what? This is actually good, uh, a really good stopping point for this episode, I think. For the most part, I'm really happy about where I've, you know, gotten so far. I have a house made, I have like, you know, a kiln and all this other like, you know, basic forging stuff out of the way. I want to make, make like a solar still and I want to go mining stuff, so we're basically getting to where we need to go. And when we get there, it'll be great. But for now, take care.